Hello everybody. We are Mac. And Jose. And we are the Youper Farmsteaders. Yep. Today we're going to be talking about weeks 8 and 9 on the farmstead and everything we've had going on. We have been super busy because we want to create a business here uh, and be going to the farmers markets and getting customers next year. So we really have a lot of things we need to get done before next spring. And because most of the winter here, it's impossible or nearly impossible to work outside <laughs> we have to get those things done right now yeah. so we have been very busy and a lot of things going on and we're trying to make videos uh to keep you updated on what's going on yeah. so it's been very busy but the big thing right now is we really need to come up with a farm name yeah we need help 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 <laughs> we wanted to be youper farms but somebody has taken that business name in Michigan, so yep. we can't do Youper Farms. Now, obviously, we could do Youper Farmstead, but to me, that might create some confusion mm -hmm. uh, between us and them. So we're, we're trying to think of something different. And one of the ideas we have is because we're focusing on rabbits, uh -huh. chickens, and ducks, we thought something with Easter would be fun. Mm. So Easter Acres Farm, Easter Junction. We live in Eben Junction, so Eben Junction Farms. Uh, Youper Junction was something we were thinking about. Yeah. And then the last thing is we have a random willow tree growing on the property because the owner before us planted a willow tree. And here's the really funny thing. Our friend Annie Erst Palmer gave us a card, her and her husband, uh -huh. uh, doing like a housewarming gift for us. And look what's on that card is a willow tree. So we were thinking maybe something with Willow. Willow Junction, Willow Farms. We also have a huge pine tree on the property that has three big legs on it that people call the Three Sisters. Ooh. So there, there's another option. Three, three Sister Farm? Mm. Mm, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> so those are some things we're thinking about. Help us out in the comments if you have an idea or one of those ideas really struck you and you're like, hey, call it that. We'd love to hear from you. Yep. All right. Let's get started. Mm -hmm. Okay, the weather, the start of the two weeks was incredible. It was up in the 60s and even low 70s a couple of days. Jose, what was the big thing we worked on? We started making the big garden. Yeah, we worked on the gardens. Now we are doing a standard market garden setup, so 100 <laughs> foot beds by 30 inches wide. And I wanted to have about 20 beds started for the spring. Um, that's uh, some everybody's been telling us that's a good place for new farmers to start is about 20 beds but that's a lot of work <laughs> we started out thinking oh we will just do it by hand uh -huh. so we went out there with some shovels and started working on it um, the the grass and the roots from the grasses are so thick out there it was literally impossible <laughs> I think we spent about three hours and got halfway through a bed Wow yeah so the next idea was to rent a tiller. Mm -hmm. The first place we went to went to rent a tiller, what did they say, Jose? Well, uh, the season is over. <laughs> yeah, the season for tillers is over. We've packed them all up. Yeah. So we found another rental company in Munising that helped us out. They had tillers yep. available. So we rented their largest tiller. Well, I think no more excuse. I'm not working. No? I have an excuse. I'm a girl. <laughs> okay. Do you think you can do a half acre a day with this thing? Could be. It didn't. Hardly anything. <laughs> it basically just got the top level of grass. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, our neighbor saw us out there working. The neighbor, maybe they was thinking, mm, maybe they need help. <laughs> maybe they need a little bit of help. So our neighbors, Jeff and Jamie, yeah. they came over with their two wheel grill tractor, taught Jose how to use it. Yeah, super easy. Yep, it was late in the afternoon and they, it, they had a rotary plow on there and it dug through the ground like you wouldn't believe. Thankfully, he said, if you guys want to borrow this tomorrow, we'll let you borrow it. I, whoa, yes, please, we'd love to <laughs> borrow on, your tractor. Uh, so he brought it over the next morning and Jose spent the entire day plowing. He got through two of our pre-planned gardens, which are each 13 beds mm -hmm. in those. And so he plowed through 26 beds and got those ready for us, which is very exciting. Yeah. Then he spent two days tilling, because once we plowed, then he tilled. And the tiller actually worked after we ran oh, yeah, the plow over it. It was a lot easier. 
Then we had to hand dig all of the pathways, which took a long time and was by the end of it, him and I were pretty much done. It was a lot of work. So we have about 23 beds ready to go yeah. for next season. But now we are going to start setting our caterpillar tunnels. The first thing to do is get the measurements right and then we're going to sink the rebar. That's Jose's music for us. So because we have four foot bracing on the first set of poles, we're going to be, instead of 100 feet, we'll be at 98 feet because we have to cut a foot off of each side to put the four foot bracing on. Uh, but other than that, uh, we should get a 98 foot tunnel with spacing of five feet per bow. Are you ready for tomatoes? I'm ready for tomatoes. I <laughs> love garden tomatoes. I can't wait. So that's what we got done with the gardens. Uh, and I'm very excited. That was a lot, a lot of work we needed to get done that we got done. The other thing that happened is really the giving season around here. We've gotten a lot of free stuff in the last few weeks, which has been so nice because we had no furniture. So our friends Annie and Tony Erspalmer were like, well, we have a bunch of stuff sitting in our garage. Why don't you come over and take a look? And wow, we got these two chairs. Uh -huh. the, the boy chair and the girl chair. Yeah. And then we got some cabinets, uh -huh. we got end tables, yeah. we got a dresser. Many, many things. Yeah, we got, <laughs> we're all hooked up now. A lot of furniture for the house. So thank you, yeah, that... Annie and Tony. Oh yeah, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. We appreciate it. So then my Aunt Loie knew we needed a dining room table. She found one on um, Facebook Marketplace. Mm -hmm that needed to be refinished. Mm -hmm. And that's what I love about people up here is they just know how to do things, know how to fix things. So she refinished a table for us. Yeah. And it came out beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Aunt Loie. We really appreciate that. It was super nice. So yeah, a lot of neat things coming our way. Our neighbor let us borrow his tractor and people giving us some furniture, which is great. <laughs> Hi, yeah, honey. Yeah, it's very nice. You didn't want to be left out? That's a producer executive. That's our executive producer, Maria. And now, what is growing in the garage that's driving us insane, Jose? Oh my goodness. Patitos están creciendo muy rápido. <laughs> the ducks. The ducks are growing like crazy. And I forgot how much work ducks are and how <laughs> messy they are. They are getting up to about four weeks old. I'm cleaning the brooder twice a day. Oh yeah. They are going through so much water. They need water. Constantly, mm -hmm. it's craziness. So what are we in a rush to get finished, Jose? We need to finish fast the coop. The coop, <laughs> we need to get that done. Okay, what are we doing upside now? <laughs> what, I'm Why? sorry. <laughs> it is cold out here this morning. And we are working on building an outdoor area for our ducks and chicks. Yep. That's what's going on behind us. The problem is because we got started on our farmstead so late in the year, we really don't have a choice. We need a spot where the ducks and chicks can be outside this winter, uh, where they will have a snow-free area. So what's happening here is this is a 16 by eight foot uh, area and we are going to be putting a, a roof on this, which mm -hmm. is what we're currently doing. None of this is new material. This is all material that we found on the property as of now. It's actually a beautiful morning this morning. It's not very cold, nope. but it is rainy. So we're gonna work in the garage this morning. And what we're doing is for our outdoor chicken and duck area is we are making a water platform. What I've done in the past is made a platform that the water can sit on so that it drains outside of the structure mm -hmm. because ducks are so messy and chickens i don't think they like all that mess <laughs> so because we keep the chickens and ducks together it's just smart to get the water outside of the pen so we won't get any water inside of here or very little water um, and this will just help keep it a lot cleaner if you do ducks build one of these it'll <laughs> save you a lot of mud and a lot of trouble and now we are putting up the two by fours on the beams across on this outer side to hang wire. The reason I'm doing that is so we don't have to worry about predators 
when we're not paying attention. We have yeah. a lot of predators out here. <laughs> eagles, we have a, a, a nesting pair of eagles off the back side of the property. Uh, we had raccoons in here in the last couple of nights. Uh, we have weasels. So basically I think we have wolves, we have coyotes. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much if there is a uh, predator, we've got it here. What we're doing is gonna put the wire in the ground. We're gonna bury it a little bit to try to keep our ducks and chicks safe even if we're not around. Now, the problem with the coop is we're trying to make it predator proof mm -hmm. and we can't find the wire we need. No, no, no. But luckily, bass equipment, I had rabbit cages ordered from them. And before they shipped the rabbit cages, I called them and said, please, do you guys have any four foot, one inch by two inch wire? Uh -huh. And they said, we have exactly one roll left. Woo! I said, please add it to my order. <laughs> and they said, okay, so we should be getting the wire this week so we can finish the coop. Yep. Yeah, and then we can make it predator proof and finally put the ducks out there and get them out of the garage, out of the garage. Because if they keep waking me up at 3 a.m. for water, <laughs> yeah, uh, that's gonna be the end of it. The ducks are gonna be um, duck stew, I think. All right, anything else you wanna talk about? Uh, only subscribe and comment. Yeah, we would love, subscribe to our channel if you're yeah. a homesteader or a farmsteader or you live in the UP, you have chickens and ducks or rabbits, all of our rabbits will be arriving in the next week or so. I'm very <laughs> excited. Um, I'm so ready for rabbits. I've missed having rabbits. Aww. Yeah, it'll be fun. So yeah, subscribe to our channel. Do some comments below. Let us know what you think about our farm name. Oh yeah, yeah, please. Yeah, because we, we need some ideas. Mm -hmm. We need help. We need an epiphany. Maybe a uh, lazy cat farm lazy cat farm uh -huh. uh, taco are hey, you lazy kitty hey. farm <laughs> anyway thank you for watching thank you again we are mac paco and jose <laughs> we are the youper farmsteaders <laughs> thank you